Many of us can't live without modern technology, and our mobile devices seem to be everywhere. KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler tells us the amount of microwave radiation these devices emit is so high, it's illegal in many countries. He has tonight's special report. It looks like any Bay Area neighborhood, but what you can't see is the swirl of microwave radiation emitted by home electronic devices that so many of us use that are now making some people uneasy. The question of can we do anything and what do we need to be concerned about and how does it affect the kids, all of that. Canadian researcher Magda Havis offered the family some help with this radio frequency detector. That sound indicates cell phone radiation. Noah Klochek turned his off. But in their daughter's bedroom... Oh, charming. It's the baby monitor. Okay. Checking levels by her bed. They're not too bad. Well, at least they don't have the so wireless cool. baby monitor right next to the bed or right next to the crib. This is an absolute no-no. Now on to the home office. The Wi-Fi router is a wireless transmitter. And look at this. There is radiation in the house from at least four neighborhood routers. That's the one. What I'm picking up here is your cordless phone. Probably one of the highest sources of radiation in everyone's home. Powerful enough to broadcast hundreds of feet through walls and some say trigger mood disorders, chronic fatigue, even cancer. All sorts of different types of tumors um, associated with the head for people who actually use the technology against their head, their cell phone, their cordless phone, for example. From the wireless router here on the top shelf to this baby monitor and this cordless phone, the Kolchek's home is probably not too different from yours. So what's your risk? The radiation from microwaves, from cell phones, from baby monitors doesn't have enough energy to disrupt even a molecule. Author of Physics for Future Presidents, UC Berkeley physicist Richard Muller, puts a microwave transmitter right on his lap, uses a wireless router and cordless phone. And I feel totally comfortable having all of those things in my home, including even the baby monitor. Some research has shown associations between heavy cell phone use and brain tumors, low sperm count, and other problems. But U.S. regulators insist there is no concrete proof. Back at the Klochek's, the highest reading was next to the microwave oven, more than 160 microwatts per square centimeter. This is exceeding the guidelines in Switzerland, and exceeding the guidelines in China, in Russia, in a lot of countries, but it's not exceeding the guidelines in the United States. U.S. federal guidelines are maximum 1,000. They're totally inadequate. They're not protecting public health. Now there's uh, financial interest in us n keeping this technology around and using it, so I think that we probably are getting exposed to too much. These are all very new technologies, and so, you know, is it going to take another 60 years or another 80 years to actually really know? This is an urgent matter, and I think it's a crime in progress. And I think we need to take action as a nation to protect health. People have always sought to have something in which they can blame their ills. Back in the 1600s, it was witches. Activists say with future generations at potential risk, we don't need to turn off transmitters, just do what the Europeans do, turn them down. It's not as though we're interfering with the technology. We simply don't need it to be as powerful as it is right now. Activists are calling for congressional hearings this year. Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News. The Highway Patrol is investigating a solo crash on Highway 101 in the North Bay that left the driver dead and the passenger with serious injuries. Police say the driver crashed into a tree and...